of artistry. My name is Allison Holowen, and I am a mixed media artist working primarily in collage. What is the name of your butterfly? If it has one, if not, that's okay. My butterfly is called um, Gilded Moth. The concept and the execution. So when I first was thinking about this butterfly, um, I first was actually drawn to the idea of looking at moths because um, they're like the less appreciated butterfly. <laughs> Recently I've been drawn to lichen and I immediately thought, well, what if I somehow used my lichen on this butterfly? And um, that led me to thinking about um, outside versus inside and, you know, noticing things in nature in particular and appreciating things that maybe at first glance aren't so beautiful and wonderful, but the more you look and the more you learn and the closer you get, um, they really are beautiful. I used um, mostly white, some gold, but a lot of different um, textures that will reflect light differently, so like glitter. <laughs> and um, another type of glitter that's just actually very small broken glass um, and iridescent white paint so that when the sun does hit it, it is uh, glittery and there is a lot of different reflections happening. And then on the outside and the bottom, I wanted it to be very textural. That's where all the lichen is, that's where branches are, that's where um, I even put some mushrooms on it. <laughs> and it's all painted gold, different tones of gold, because I want, um, well I didn't want it to be obvious what it was when you first looked at it, because I wanted the textures to draw people in to get closer. What are four words that describe your butterfly? Gilded, texture, reflection, really transformation. How important is public art? Oh, public art is so important. Art is what makes us human, what brings us joy and teaches us empathy and it shouldn't just be in a museum. Um, it should be everywhere and I think it should be art. Public art is, is wonderful and we need more of it. <laughs> what is your wish for everyone that sees not only your butterfly but all the butterflies in the Rosabella exhibit? When people see these butterflies, well first I want people to just experience joy and happiness. Um, and there's just a moment of joy with whoever they're with or with themselves, um, a mo like moments of awe and wonder. If it stops them in their tracks and gets them to stay with it for a moment and move them closer and observe it and notice, maybe it'll inspire people to do that more in their lives.